as he's taken down. Second and six. 22 needle. Now love. The catch is made. This is Tucker Kraft. One of the easiest ways to negate these really good pass rushes in the NFL, Mike, is just to simply get the ball out of the quarterback's hand as fast as possible. And sometimes it's by design. Sometimes it's based on need. But really nice job there by the quarterback. Getting into the hands of his receiver and then see what he can do after the catch. Drill, 52. Fight, fight. Red, yellow. Set. On first and 10, here's Love. Oh, intercepted. What a bad start on the third play. And the Eagles are going to take over just shy of midfield. Right away is Hurts. A dive and a catch. Incredible. 16 yards on the game and a quick first down. This is a tale as old as time, Mike. It seems that any time a team forces a takeaway, fumble or interception, the ensuing drive starts with a shot, a deep play in the air to try to seize on some of that momentum. We just saw a great example of it here. Swinging here on this opening drive through the air, and that's exactly what they wanted to do. Generate some early chunk plays and try to get some points. A great chance to convert that early turnover into points. Here's first and goal. Here's Barkley. He slowed up quickly as he gets this down to the six. Now here's second and goal. Operating from the gun, here's Hurts. That is intercepted. Picked off by Keyshawn Nixon. Accelerating toward midfield. Inside the 20. And he is going to score a pick six for the touchdown. And the defense comes up with the first point to this one. It is a pick six to make it a 6 nothing lead. And Mike, we talked all week which offense was going to be able to strike first and play with the lead. Well, the defense, they had other plans. They're able to put the first points on the board by capitalizing with that pick six. Seven nothing is our score as this kick is sent into the air. This one is fielded in the end zone, but he decides not to bring it out, so they'll take over at the 30-yard line. First and ten. From the shotgun, it's Hurts. Under pressure, and he'll go down. They got him. 
You know what they say about Murphy's Law, Mike? Anything that can go wrong will go wrong. He's had a pick six earlier in the game. Now he takes a sack. Fortunate for him, there's a lot of football to be played, but this has been a disastrous start. He's got the 2021 Heisman winner. That's Devontae Smith. Well, they'll get some of the sack yardage back, but it's still going to leave them with third down. A shotgun snap now to Hurts. He'll go right back to Smith. They hook up again. He's going to have the first down. So they convert on third down with a pickup of nine. To throw is Hurts. He'll let this go for Goddard. Trying to go back over the middle. You can't do that. It's intercepted. And the Packers will take over here just past the 30. So after one, it's the Packers on top. And we'll re Start on the ground with Jacobs. And he'll get about five. They'll break the huddle in second and five. Now Love. Hit as he throws and it is incomplete. Just couldn't deliver that one the way he wanted to. Not really sure if there was much there anyways. We do know it'll be third down. On the handoff, this is Jacobs. Hurry, hurry. The punter remains on the sideline. They're going to line up and go for it on fourth down. Open is Kraft. He's got it. And he's going to have a Packers first down. They'll get the conversion. It's a gain of 14. A little bit of a risky decision for some, Mike, but frankly, I really like it. I think the days of being aggressive on fourth down, even on your side of the field, are here to stay. And while some people say this is over-aggressive, in this case, the aggressiveness paid off, and they're going to keep this drive alive. A hit as he throws there. It's going to wind up incomplete. The pressure got to him that time, and it'll set up second down. Now, Jacobs. And he nearly got free. But as it is, gain of six. It sets up third down. Throwing is love. And this ball incomplete on third down. I think he predetermined that third down throw. And even though the coverage was tight, he still tried to fit the ball in there anyway. And... It ended up falling incomplete. I think if he goes through his progressions and has a little bit more trust in his protection, I think there's an easier throw to make out there. On fourth down, Love. That's taken in. And he's going to have the first down. So taking a chance there, playing with the lead, but it works out for them. Offensively, landing a lot of body blows on this drive, Mike. Just the ability to steadily march the ball downfield and remain so efficient, both run and pass. As they continue to wear this defense out, they have to find a way to end this drive with points. Anything short of that would be a bit of a letdown. Come on, set. First and 10 now from the 36. Cut. They'll run it straight ahead with Jacobs. And a good run there. Going to get him five yards. Back, 
Ready. Two minutes remain. First half in a 7-0 game. Back with more from Charlotte after this. They'll come up here on second down and five. Here we go. From the gun, it's Love. He'll be hit as he throws this time, and it's going to fall incomplete. And he might be fortunate just to avoid the sack, and it'll set up a third down. They've been a little up and down in this first half. I mean, they have less than 80 yards of total offense and halftime loom. So missed throws like that, those are missed opportunities. They've got to hit the plays it's when they set. have them if they want to have Get a chance back. to leave here with a win. Set. Out of the shotgun, it's love. And that is incomplete. They got there in a hurry, didn't they, Mike? I mean, luckily for him, he saw that free rusher coming and at the very least was able to get that ball out to prevent the sack. McManus's kick is good. And the Packers will extend to a 10-0 lead. And this is what you want. I mean, you clearly have the advantage, but you want to continue to apply pressure. Can you score every time you get the ball? They're able to do that here. They tack on three and extend their lead. This one will be taken in the end zone. No run back forthcoming. And the ball coming out to the 30-yard line. The break the huddle coming up now for first and 10. Hurts. He connects downfield to Dotson. And he is out of bounds all the way down at the 35-yard line. So a big one there to start the drive. 35 yards. A first down throw for Hertz. That's complete to his big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And he'll be out of bounds all the way down at the 10. It's a gain of 26, and it'll set up first and goal. Hurts. That is hot. What a job to keep the play alive. A.J. Brown. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Greg, it's one of those. Sometimes you got to feel like you know where the ball's going to go. And the defense knows it, too but it still ends up in that guy's hands for the touchdown. Absolutely, Mike. In these critical situations, like down here in the red zone, it's players, not plays. It doesn't matter what you draw up on the board. You say, okay, who's my best player? Put him in a good matchup, let him go win, and give him a chance. That's exactly what they do here, and I think we're gonna see a lot of this the rest of the game. So following the score, here comes Elliott to kick this one away. And this one is fielded in the end zone, will not be returned. So it'll come out to the 30. to throw on first and ten. That's over the middle and intercepted. So this is where an offensive play caller needs to come to the rescue of his quarterback. Because this defense, they're on to you. They've got two picks. They're starting to pick up on your tendencies. They're shifting guys over to counter them. Now you've got to add some wrinkles. Now you've got to throw them a curveball and try to shift back some of that advantage to your side of the ball.
So they come to the line for first down and 10. They'll run straight ahead with Barkley. And he'll get about six there, setting up second down. This just shows why you can't count on just one guy to take him down. He's a powerful enough runner. You've got to have guys coming in support when that first hit is made. It takes a team effort to stop him, especially once he gets going. And the Eagles are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. Up until that run, this first half, it's kind of been tough sledding here for this run game. They'd love to see him get going. That last big pickup's going to go a long way. Now, Hurts. Oh, and he's going to go down. He could not get rid of it. And that's going to bring an end to this first half. Coach, thank you. Both teams trying to find the right formula to come out on top in this second half. Coming up. First half played out a bit as we expected. We'll see if there's a surprise coming up. Both teams set to go, and the second half is underway. And it's Gainwell going to bring it out of the end zone. Good job in coverage. They're going to get him down short of the 20-yard line. Looking to throw on first down. That's three. Third time tonight he's been intercepted. Picked off by the safety, Xavier McKinney. And he is going to bring this one back. A DB's dream. A pick six for touchdown. The defense is having a day. They extend the lead with Greg, their second pick six of the game. And that's just something you don't see very often in the NFL, Mike. I mean, you might see a handful of games each year where there's one pick six, but to get two pick sixes in the same game, this defense is on fire. Extra point by McManus, up and good. And the Packers are able to extend the lead. It's now 17 to six. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away this kick is fielded in the end zone but no move to bring it out it's touchback and that ball will come out to the 30 yard line Fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. The Packers go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. It's Hurts. The open receiver is Dotson. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. Whatever they've talked about in the locker room at the halftime break seems to have worked. They've come out with a new established energy. You could see it when they took the field. Now this offense seems to be building on it because with that chunk play, just a little bit of rhythm that they can build off of. They got a long way to go to get back into this game, but so far off to a good start. 
And he'll get about eight on that one. Most of it coming after the catch. It's second down. 63, 63, 63. To throw is Hurts. Wide open, middle of the field. He's got his receiver. He is in. Jahan Dotson. Touchdown, Eagles. A terrific play all the way around. Finished off by the receiver, who not only made the grab, but Greg turned it up and takes it into the end zone. And that's the tricky part, Mike, that transition from receiver to runner. And in this case, he does it flawlessly. Look the ball in, secure the catch, and then get upfield and get yourself in the end zone. That'll be caught. And he's not going to make it into the end zone. However, there is a flag down. So let's see what that's all about. The official right there to call it. You cannot go out of bounds and then be the first guy to touch it. So that draws the flag. So following the score, here comes Elliott to kick this one away. This one is fielded in the end zone, but he will not bring it out. It's a touchback, and this drive will begin at the 30-yard line. first down and unable to connect there it's incomplete let's call it for what it is Mike I mean right now this team is winning in spite of him certainly not because of him and what's really concerning is that's the most important position on the team and if they are able to hold on and they do pull this game out it could wind up being one of the most poor performances we've ever seen in a winning effort that I can recall in a long time The man in motion is Watson. A second down throw for Love. That's to Kraft, the tight end downfield. A game there of 20. First down, Packers. Mike, I can't tell you how many corner routes I caught throughout my career, and there's really an arc to it. At the top of the break, you have to give the quarterback what they call an indicator step. That's your cut where you set your angle, and then once that ball's out, go chase it down and in this case he's able to pick up the first down set to go now on first and ten Black shot. Set, huh? to throw is love that'll be caught it's Josh Jacobs and he can't get away they rally to the football on defense and bring him down for no game I think the days where cornerbacks are either unwilling or unable to be involved in the run game, I think those days are over, Mike. I think when you look around the landscape of today's NFL, yes, you have to cover, but you also have to be able to come up and tackle. clock down to zero that's gonna be a delay After a gain of a yard. Third and nine. Love to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. That is great work there. Making things difficult defensively. It'll set up a fourth down. 
It's pretty remarkable at this stage, Mike, that they're even winning this game. I mean, anytime a quarterback is completing less than 50% of his throws, you just don't see that very often. And it just seems like time and time again, this quarterback and his intended targets, they're just not on the same page. You know, more often than not in the NFL, games are won based on who wins critical downs. Well, that fourth down attempt right there was exactly that, and this defense came up huge for a big-time fourth down stop. Hey, Silver, Silver, Silver. Great, 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 great. On first and ten, it's Hurts. Looking right side, he's got a receiver. It's Smith. 12 yards on the game. That's good for a quick first down. And 73, 73. First down. Don't touch that. First and ten at the 39 yard line. Don't touch. A shotgun snap now to Hurts. He's going to look for the home run ball. And a good return here. He is out of bounds, up past the 30. When you find yourself in this situation, you're on defense, you're defending your own goal line, you got to take some chances. You've got to try to force a turnover and make a play and get off the field. That's exactly what this defender did. Takes a chance, bets on himself, and comes away with a pick to save them some points. Motion is Watson. Ready? On first and ten, here's Love. That's to Reed. He's got it. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. Man in motion, heading left. Ready, ready. On first down, it's Love. Three, third time tonight he's been intercepted. And the Eagles are going to get this back at their own 34-yard line. Look, Mike, the reality here is that he's just not seeing the field the way that he needs to. Now, give credit. A big part of this is the defense doing an excellent job disguising its coverages all game long. Just before the snap, when he thinks he has the answers, the secondary changes the questions, and they've been rewarded with three picks for their effort. Great, 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 great. On first down, it hurts. That's taken in left side by Smith. And he's going to be brought down up past the 45. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play, and it wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion, and then really it's the yards after catch that did the rest, and that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. So these two teams take the look. What a moment in this game. A touchdown would give them the late lead. It is first down and goal. They'll run with Barkley. And no signal waiting. They say he did not break the plane. He's down inside the one. Ball a little closer now. It is second and goal. One more time, they try Barkley. And he'll go down back at the four. 
Down here this close, all it takes is one defensive lineman defeating his block and getting some penetration. And that's exactly what we saw here. Not only to stop the ball carrier short of the end zone, but to take him down for a loss. For the lead, here is third and goal. No contact. No contact. From the shotgun, it's Hurts. That is hot. What a job on the scramble. Jahan Dotson. Touchdown, Philadelphia. He's got another one. His second touchdown of the evening. What a game this has been. Back and forth we go, and that fourth quarter score changes the lead one more time. And we've seen the lead go back and forth, Mike, and now the question is, can they get a stop? Can they find a way defensively to hang on to this lead and get themselves this big win? Big play for the Eagles as they will try for no, two. No, no, no. Operating from the gun, here's Hurts. And that is incomplete. They get the touchdown, take the lead, but it remains a one-point game. So now playing with the lead after that fourth quarter touchdown, time to kick it back the other way. And no chance to return this one. Through the end zone, four touchbacks. Here's first and ten. The man in motion is Watson. Ready. From the gun, it's Love. Oh, the struggles continue. Another interception. And his offense is going to be all set up with a short field and a chance to extend their lead. Well, Mike, once again, this drive, it ends the same way their last one did, walking off the field, following an interception. Now, you're hoping this is more momentary struggle than it is a trend, but as hard as it is to do, they need to get calmed down. They need to reset because their offense cannot operate at a high level if they don't have confidence in this passing game. They're trying to burn some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And a nice run. Get him about nine. It'll bring up second down. Once again, it's Barkley. And he'll work his way for about four yards. And that's good enough for a first down. This offense, they're not interested in taking the deep shot here. Second and short, the way they're running the ball, pound the rock, reset the downs, and just keep the drive alive. Hurts to the air on first down. That'll be caught left side. It's Goddard. And they're going to be set up now as he's brought down at the five-yard line. Big time completion right there. And this isn't just a spot where they're trying to run the game out here in the fourth quarter. They were not only trying to pick up points, but they're trying to get in the end zone and extend this lead. So really nice job here late. Let's see if they can put this one out of reach. An opportunity for what could be a game ceiling touchdown right here. First down and goal. Here's a run. And he'll be taken down as the clock ticks towards two minutes to play. From the one, second and goal. No 
He'll try to run this one in. And he'll go down back at the four. And we'll see a timeout used by the defense, stopping it right out of the break. A minute 57 to go in the game. Good job so far by the defense, protecting the short field. Now it's third and goal. Oh, he can't get rid of it, and he's taken down. You can tell what the decision is about how they want to approach fourth down by what they call on third down. If that was a run play, then you can bet they were going to go for it on fourth. But because it was a pass, and then they take a sack, I think this coach on fourth down is leaning towards settling for three. So anytime an offense comes off the field after settling for three, you always have to take the good with the bad. In order to get down there in field goal range, you had to do something positive to move the ball. But at the same time, how are we going to be able to finish these drives and convert for six the next time we get down there? This one is fielded in the end zone, but he decides not to bring it out. So they'll take over at the 30-yard line. They'll come up for first and ten. Come on, set! They'll drop to throw. Little short pass here, caught by his tight end. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. There's no more efficient play in the NFL, Mike, than the play-action passing game. And you can see here why. You make the defense have to honor both the run and the pass, and he's able to pick up a nice gain to his tight end. They'll come up now for second down. Claude Ray, set ready. Fly through. Green jack. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Great job there defensively separating the man from the ball. And this is the moments of the game where you need your best players to step up. And this guy's showing what he's capable of doing in the game's critical moment. Time now becoming a factor as we get to third down. Black shot. Black is sick. Black set. Huge yellow. Set. Here's luck. He's got his man. Right side. It's complete. And the defense can't come up with a stop there. Gain a seven and a first down. Well, they finally are able to convert on a third down. And Mike, when you look back at a box score, some of the biggest indications of how well the game went, of course, you don't want to turn the ball over. How do you execute in the red zone? And then how are you on third down? Third downs typically lead to long drives. Long drives tend to lead to points. It's not a real complicated formula. Stay on the field. The more snaps, the more plays, the better. Try again. It's second and ten. Love. He's going to look downfield once again. And his offense is going to be all set up with a short field and a chance to extend their lead. You know, what I'm seeing play out there right now, Mike, is just a frustrated offense playing on tilt. And on the other side of the ball, I'm seeing a defense that's happily taking advantage of these decisions. I mean, how else do you explain three consecutive drives that result in a pick? I mean, each mistake just feeds the next. 
It feeds frustration. And all... Oh, do you believe it? It's intercepted. Picked off by Jair Alexander. And the Packers are going to take over at their own 28-yard line. You know, Mike, we're seeing both these offenses come out here and play a little fast and loose in the passing game. The last two throws for each team, both resulting in an interception. Now, don't get me wrong. Neither of these secondaries is going to complain. They'll happily feast on those type of throws the rest of the game. But I get a sense on these next two drives, come out here, establish the run, dose the ground and pound. Let's settle things down offensively and regroup for the rest of this game. That complete to Jacobs. And he's going to be brought down up past the 45. So it's a win here for the Eagles. And it was thanks in no small part to their defense. They forced the opponent into five turnovers, just stifling them drive after drive. That was the story of this game. Our offense did more than enough. They're going to come away with the victory. So that'll do it for us, for Greg Olson and our terrific team behind the scenes. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Follow us on X at EA Madden NFL.